So I was going to move the truck last night. Uh, this is an F350 XLT and my pants are stuck on the hood latch, so that's wonderful. All right. Um, basically, it would start and then just instantly die. There's no helping it. I couldn't even, you know, do anything with it. If I held the throttle, it would run for a little bit. Um, but the way it was acting, it kind of made me think it was a vacuum leak. And at the same time, I just, you know, didn't know if it was getting the fuel it needed. Um, I don't think it's spark related because even when it wasn't hot or anything, it just, it would still die pretty much instantly. And usually with uh, spark related issues, it's either a grounding issue or it's usually when it's hot. So this is basically the metering block off this carburetor. It sits on there like this. And then uh, that float bowl sits on top of that. So this thing was, uh, I mean, it wasn't bad. It was actually pretty clean. I just finished spraying it out anyway, just because I'm here. And uh, this float height was completely off. This, uh, well, you can see the two main jets there and the mixture needles on both sides. And there's a vacuum port. And this thing has two little alignment pins. So it lines up just like that. It sits in there like that. Stay, okay. And then and this thing sits on top of it. When you adjust the float height here, this uh, line on the carburetor should be parallel with the edge of the actual bowl here. So that's what's going on with that. This was way off, so I've readjusted it before installing, and then make sure to uh, do your plunger there. That's the accelerator pump. Make sure uh, that goes under the uh, like the uh, actual actuator for that. I found it easier to put this thing back on if I take the rubber uh, grommet out of this bowl part and put it directly on the line. That just makes it slip on a little bit easier because everything's going one direction. So there's that. I also found a broken vacuum line down here. So that's probably the source of the intake leak.